motorway section shortly before its inauguration. However, before the festive conclusion of a road construction project, such as the A31 here near Schipdorf, the Johann Bunter company has yet to lay many kilometres of asphalt. The asphalt mix is brought to the site by lorry and placed by means of a paver. The asphalt mix is applied in layers and compacted using machinery of a size category appropriate to the project at hand. Normally, the asphalt pavement consists of three layers which are placed one after the other. Bonding between the layers is achieved by spraying a bitumen emulsion. The asphalt pavement is made up of the asphaltic base course, the binder course and, as the uppermost layer, the wearing course. Another core business activity of the Bunter company is the preparation of asphalt mixes. Each of these state-of-the-art asphalt mixing plants can turn out up to 3,000 tonnes of asphalt mix per day. For large-scale construction sites, such as here at the A31, a mobile mixing plant can be set up in addition to the stationary one. The refurbishment of farm roads that pass through fields or narrow forest ales calls for equipment of appropriate dimensions that is adapted to the logistic constraints of the building site. Two further sub-disciplines are rural and urban road construction. Asphalting along draining channels or at crossroads or junctions calls for no small degree of skill on the part of the road building team. This novel type of paver developed by the Bunter company is the first of its kind capable of paving compact asphalt over the entire width of a roadway, in this case 11.5 metres. A comparison of paving techniques for illustration. In conventional asphalt paving, first the binder course and then the wearing course is placed on the asphaltic base course. In this case, the wearing course is around 3.5 to 4 centimetres thick. In compact asphalt paving, also known as hot-on-hot -hot paving, the wearing and binder course are installed together in one operation. Because of the greater heat capacity of this compact course and the interlocking of the wearing and binder course, this technique permits reducing the thickness of the wearing course to 2 to 2.5 centimetres. If necessary, the binder course can be made thicker. The great advantage of compact paving is that it improves the durability of the road surface and prevents road grooves from forming. This is made possible by the optimal bond between layers, interlocking of the wearing and binder course, as well as by the superior overall compaction achievable. In addition, compact asphalt can also be installed in bad weather and at lower temperatures because it retains the heat better, thus prolonging available compaction time. Now for a special type of compact asphalt paving, which involves a double-layer open-pour asphalt course, referred to in Germany as Zwopa. This technique had its world premiere on the A30 near Osnabrück, where it was installed by two compact module pavers working in staggered formation over a width of up to 16 meters. This special type of pavement is also referred to as double-layered draining asphalt. Its installation calls for a high degree of experience on the part of the road building team. This type of road surface benefits residents by reducing road noise, while for motorists it has the advantage of reducing the range of rear wheel spray in wet conditions and thus the risk of aquaplaning. So in yet another road construction project, the Bunter company has given an impressive demonstration of its pioneering know-how. <laughs> 